All right, guys, this is unit 6B test for seventh grade math. Question one, tell whether the data set shows a direct variation. And then if so, identify the constant of variation. Remember the capital K, what is the constant of variation? And you can use your anchor charts in the room if that helps. Uh, a says it's not a direct variation. B says it is a direct variation, and K is 9. C says it's direct variation, and K is 1 fourth. And D says it is a direct variation, and K is 4. Make sure you're looking at the table. Question 2. Tell whether the relationship is a proportional relationship, and then explain why or why not. A says the relationship is proportional because the ratio of dollars earned to the number of hours is 12.50 or $12.50. B says the relationship is proportional because the ratio of dollars earned to the number of hours is $50. C says the relationship is proportional because the ratio of dollars earned to the number of hours is $100. And D says it's not proportional because the ratio of dollars earned to the number of hours is not constant. Question three. Speedy's go-karts charges $10 plus they charge $2.50 per lap. Which best describes the relationship between total cost and the number of laps? Is it A, linear, and proportional relationship, B, linear, but not proportional, C, not linear, or D, nonlinear and not proportional. Question four, which of the following equations best represents a situation in number three? Use C for cost, and that's an L, L for laps. A says the cost is $10 a lap plus 2.5. B says cost is 12.5 L. C, L equals 2.5 OC plus 10. Or D, the cost is $2.50 a lap plus $10. Question five, tell whether the relationship is a proportional relationship, and if so, give the constant of proportionality, the K. A says the relationship is proportional, and the constant of proportionality is 2.5. B, the relationship is proportional, the constant of proportionality is five. C, the relationship is proportional, the constant of proportionality is 20, or D, the relationship is not proportional. Question six. The above graph models the following situation. At a Super Bowl party, five bags of chips are eaten every hour. Remember, every means one. So five bags of chips, one hour. Find the equation for this situation. Question seven. Daryl is reading a book at the rate of 4.5 pages per minute. Every minute he's reading 4.5 pages. What ordered pair on a graph of his reading rate would represent the number of minutes it would take him to read 90 pages? Question eight. Which equation below matches the relationship shown in the table? And if you notice, I've inserted zero and two into the table to help you to think about what would happen if it's counting by ones. Which equation below matches the relationship shown in the table? A, y equals 3x. B, y equals 2x plus 4. C, y equals 2x plus 3. Or D, y equals 3x minus 2. 
question nine. The graph shows the amount earned and the hours worked. Which of the following best describes the relationship between the amount earned and the number of hours worked? A, the relationship is linear and proportional. B, not linear, non-proportional. C, non-linear relationship. Or D, non-linear and proportional relationship. Okay, on questions 10 through 13, you're using the same table for each one. Uh, 10 says a parking garage charges an initial fee, a beginning fee, plus an hourly rate. The prices are shown in the table below. The question is, what is M, the hourly rate for parking? Is it $12.50 an hour? $3.50 an hour, a dollar an hour, or $9 an hour? On question 11, you're using the same table and the same question. A parking garage charges an initial fee plus an hourly rate. The prices are shown in the table above. What is the y-intercept for this relationship? What is the y-intercept for this relationship? Is it A, 0, 12.5, B, 9, 0, C, 0, 9, or D, 12.5, 0? Question 12, excuse me, 12, same table, same question. This time, uh, the question's different, though, same information. Number 12, which equation best represents this relationship. Which equation? Is it y equals mx plus b, y equals 9x plus 3.5, y equals 12.5x, or y equals 3.5x plus 9? And the last question, question 13, is the same table. This time the question is, how much will it cost to park a vehicle for 10 hours? Is it A, $57.50, B, $125, C, $93.50, or D, $44? How much will it cost to park a vehicle for 10 hours? Good luck. Check all your answers. Okay, hopefully you didn't turn your paper in and you notice there's three more questions. Question 14, what is the constant rate of change for this graph? What is the constant rate of change for this situation? A says Janelle saves $50 a week. B, Janelle spends $50 a week. C, Janelle saves $25 a week. Or D, Janelle spends $25 a week. Question 15, which equation best represents this situation? Y equals 300x plus 25. Y equals 25x plus 300. Y equals 300x plus 50. Or Y equals 50x plus 300. Which equation best fits? Now, this is really the last question. How much money will Janelle have saved after one year? After one year, will she have saved $900, $3,625, $300, or $600? Now check your paper. Good luck.